Hello, it's Susan here. Um, just checking. Hi, Susan. Hi. Hey, I'm good. I'm um, just checking to make sure that Matthew's getting ready to go um, to visit yes, us today. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, we have to put him on the toilet. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he'll be ready by four. But that's, I think that's when Tim picked him up. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. No worries. Bye bye. Bye. There's a competition during this video to count how many times Stephen and I say so as we begin a sentence. Okay, you're on. Arrived. I thought it was time to make a, a video, Matthew. Home movie. <laughs> the man comes home again. Okay, let's get him round. Okay. But so first we must say goodbye to Machine. <coughs> first we must say goodbye to Tim. Oh. <laughs> a small one. No, we haven't. Uh, Here we are. Oh. Well, maybe at the other end of the garage. That's right, but don't need it in here. That's right. So, provide to say goodbye to Taxi. Taxi goes. Bye, Taxi. 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 Bye,
get rid of some of the wet in the face, eh? You were quite planning to have a face wash, weren't you? Or a shower? There you were. Okay, so what's the job to do, Dad? Well, every now and then, we need to uh, uh, change the cockroach baits. Remember the cockroaches? Cockroach bait? We haven't seen many cockroaches this year, but every now and then you see one or two of them. And I think the reason we've had such success is because we've uh, kept the, uh, the, day, uh, the gate baits uh, changed all the time. So will you help me uh, sort them out? Will it be your pleasure to give me some assistance? <coughs> okay. So, uh, Susan, you might like to just close the garage door with your keys when you can. Candid camera. Okay, you're on camera now, Matthew. Am I getting this level? That's a critical thing. I think so. How does it feel to be a, a movie star, Matt? The star of your own movie. I think it's pretty good. So I will just put this over here. <coughs> Shall I get the baits? <coughs> Very well. Let's see where they are. Where are you, baits? <coughs> Come on, don't hide. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, what, is it, what do I do when you first get home, Matthew? I check in your, back in your bag. And These are the baits. Okay, so we've got an iPad, an iPhone, and we've got your taxi voucher book, and... and your money. So let's put together the money. Okay, I just check your phone. Your phone is way, way down, Matthew. It needs a charge up. Let's get it on charge. <coughs> Matthew. God, I was just about to give up the ghost. That's right. Okay, I'm getting the cash ready for your trip home. Remember this? Right, so step one, we have to uh, just mark on them when we're going to change them next. And tablets for tonight. <laughs> Twenty-two dollars. That's just right, Matthew. Mm -hmm. And we've got the envelope. There we are. Mm -hmm. so June, July, August. So set. We'll mark it down as September. For the next one's due. <coughs> So on the back here, you've got all the, the months of the year. So what we do is put a little green mark on September. <coughs> What's special about September, Matthew? Why is September such a nice month? because winter is over and it's <coughs> spring. How good is that? And it's good that we use green because green is the color of spring and the leaves, the new leaves come out. So that's good. So, your sister posted a couple of photos on uh, Facebook, Matthew. 
of uh, they had a drive down to Busselton that was on the 11th of May. So that's a very old notification. It's a nice sound, mm. isn't it, Matt? Mm. Okay. Oh, we're looking at photos wow, that, look at uh, from Matthew's iPad that, that are being cake, projected Stephen. onto the large screen. Whose cake is that? That's Ro Roman's cake from last week. Right. One year old. Matthew, you already know what that looks like. Because mm. Matthew was there. And this is down at Fremantle. Um. Oh, that oh, that's the one of Matt's. It is, isn't it? The oh, breeze is really capturing him. I like the next one, though. Yeah, you look sort of very thoughtful there, a bit like um, David Tennant. I could be almost David Tennant in that one. Try and find where they are. <coughs> oh, there's a bit of glass from our injury the other day. So, that one. Now we go into the one where the, oh, there were cockroaches in here, Matt. Will we find another one? What do you think? Do you like cockroaches? Okay. Nobody's very friendly with them, are they, Matt? Where are you, Monsieur Cockroach? Where are you? Come on, Monsieur. Come, come to stay for them. You could put those potatoes and so on up, Stephen, because I'm going to, that's, we, we need those for cooking the mash, Matthew. All right, well, I'll just leave them there for the moment because my hands are a little bit soiled. So we've got lots of ginger beer. Good thing, isn't oh. it, Matthew? Lots of ginger beer. We could switch off the TV now. We don't need it on. I've had a look at all your photos. Been rather fun. Oop. Here we are. A nice big pile of clothes to pick up. Tea time. Did you check the little plant that you gave me for Mother's Day, Matthew? Doing quite well. And it'll love having all this lovely rain. It should get quite nice and big soon. Now, do you want to... Uh, I'll put out one sweet potato. Yes. There we are. Perfect. Okay. disintegrates onto your finger. So. A bit of a pain, isn't it, Matthew, with onions? Okay, I'm just going to switch off for a moment. So, okay. Uh, 
This is a little bit of a pain because you've got to reach it right in. But Matthew can help me here. He encourages. Will you help me, sir? Help me get. Now, here's another one here. Let's get rid of that one. That's it. So, what I do is take out the old one and put a new one in its place. That makes sense, doesn't it? Now, See, Dad's got the um, um, knee split as well, Matthew, now. That's right. I saw what you were wearing, Matthew, and I thought, oh, I'd better get one too, otherwise I'll... Might be well, you're, like, you're like Matthew. You have the natural ones that occur when you're a busy person doing lots of stuff. And right. that's how it happens. Yeah. We won't show inside the cupboards, Matthew, because it'll be all messy. Sadly. You don't think Matthew likes mess? Well... Or are you just embarrassed? I'm embarrassed. Ah. Let's pop that down there, Matthew. What was I talking about? Uh, you were saying you've got to cut one of them Oh, open. yes. So we've got here now all the uh, replaced cockroach baits. So... Um, I assume that the poison inside here has all been eaten. And if it has all been eaten, that confirms that you've got cockroaches eating it. But if there's a little bit of bait still left, well, then you can conclude that you could leave them out for a little bit longer. So we need to know how long it takes for the bait to be eaten up. And if you haven't got any cockroaches, well, then the baits would be pretty good. But we know that we've had at least three, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Three little ones, three big ones, I mean, and one of them was what we call the ginger beer experience, where Susan went to pick up a bottle of ginger beer. You know what? It was worse than ginger beer. It was sarsaparilla. Oh, sarsaparilla. And that's so, why it was dark. <laughs> yes. So there was a screech and a holler. I thought Susan had cut off her finger, but she had just uh, seen a cockroach. Felt a cockroach. Felt it on which part of your body? On the hand when I went to reach the bottle. Oh, I how felt awful. It. I put my hand on it, I didn't see it. Did you not hold it up and examine and see? And then the it... cockroach went skitter scatter all over the place. It was scared to death, the poor thing. That's but right. I was scared as well. I imagine it was probably suffering from a little bit of poison. And so they're not so uh, prone to jump all over the place. Anyway, that's all over in the past now. And we hope that uh, there'll be no cockroaches on this visit. <laughs> Will you be disappointed if we don't see one? What are your thoughts, Matt? Do you like to see a cockroach every now and then? The good thing about a GoPro 9 is that you can see what's happening on the camera. So there we are. So I'm hoping that this is um, uh, level. So let's pop it over here. Um, will that work? What we could do is pop it up here. And then we can see the bench, so we'll be able to see me sorting the veggies. And you'll be in the background there, Matthew. But I'll bring you in a little bit because you're a bit far away. <coughs> <coughs> one of my ways of making coffee. This is not not the way that I use coffee beans, Matthew. When I 
use beans, I use the other machine. Oh, I am still hot, Matthew. I think it's because it's so humid. Bring my baggy pants. And we need this. Okay, um, we need a board. So what we'll do is we'll put the veggies on to mash, get them ready to mash up first. And put them in the nice big saucepan. <laughs> Okay, is this working, is this going well? Yes, I can see Matthew in the background. Can I see what I'm doing on the thing? Yes. So we'll get all the food cooking, Matthew, and then we'll set the table and get other things ready, okay? That's a beautiful big sweet potato, isn't it? Isn't it mighty? It's heavy as well. We can hear the onions starting to sizzle, Matthew. Hmm. Just let them get a bit sauteed. Okay, so water. Cover this. Okay, there we go. So we've got the vegetables in here, to soften, and we're just sauteing the onion before adding the rest. GoPro, turn off. Mm. GoPro, stop recording. It did, finally. You could see because the little front thing came on. Okay, so now we're preparing the chicken. Matthew, work it through. Okay. 
and the gas down. Put the lid on. So we need some chicken stock and um, some turmeric. Some herb, Italian herb blend. That should be enough. Okay, GoPro, we're going to move you to a different position. Okay, over here. It's aimed at the stove, so you won't be in it now, Matthew, because it's aimed at the stove. But if you talk, your words will get onto the camera. Mm -hmm. video showing what we're doing here. The turmeric makes it look yellow and we're just trying to get all of the meat separate and then we're going to put some water in it and let it simmer. Okay and this is, looks like it's not quite boiling yet. It's 20, uh, 25 past 5, Matthew, so we've still got 35 minutes before dinner today. So. so, it's starting to get some bubbles coming up, simmering, and the meat is also simmering there. There's a kettle boiling, and here's Matthew, Wait, still waiting around. Okay, so we need to set the table, I think, Matthew. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. So we've started to set the table, getting it ready for our meal, but what do we need? We need knives and forks and stuff, don't we? Mm. Yes. So, okay, so here we are, some nice spoons, and I'm not sure if Dad and I are with a spoon or with a knife and fork, Matthew, so I'll put both out. Make sure I get the large forks because your dad gets very cross if I put out little forks. So there's yours. table isn't it? Here we are. We'll put the card up here. And that was the Happy Mother's Day card. 
So I might get some frozen veggies to go in with the meat there. And we've got aha, beans. Throw those in. So here we are. Now I've got some beans in there. They'll simmer away with the meat. And here we are. The, ooh, the other veggies, you can't see now. Fogged up. Fogged up the lens, Matthew. There we are. Whew. Did I clean the lens? Yes. There we are, nice and clear again now. Um, I think I'm going to have a little sit down and just rest. Okay, so Matthew and I are going to sit and go through the diary a bit. Here. Now, you already know that we're going um, up north in our camper van fairly soon. But um, what we'll do is we'll go through some of the things that are going to happen before then. So this is Saturday night and you've come to tea and then um, we've both got a busy week and Dad's getting on with doing lots of rehearsals. So when you see him next time, he will have done three rehearsals for the Gilpin Sullivan. And then you'll come to tea again on the Saturday evening. And then on the Sunday, we might be going to the zoo if Ellie's well and we'll get to and Tracy and Roman and perhaps Troy will come along as well if he's not busy. So, and, and Dad I don't think will be able to come along because he's got the um, Gilpin Sullivan rehearsal that day on Sunday. And then, and then he starts performing the GNS I think um, by about the Thursday night but they have rehearsals there all the time. And then on Saturday the 5th you're coming along to see him. And then uh, um, I think a staff member will come with you as a companion, and Eversley and I will be there as well. So we'll all get together and watch Stephen perform, and all the others, and I think it'll be quite good. And then, so, because um, we'll be busy on the Saturday, we'll, you come to tea on the Sunday. And then Dad's got another week. He's got a couple of days off, three days off. And then he starts GNS again. And they have, um, they had two performances on that first Saturday. So we'll go to the afternoon one, but Dad's got to perform again in the evening. And he'll have two more performances on the Saturday. So then you'll come to tea on the Sunday night. Okay, so that's how we're working it out. So you come to tea every week, no matter what else is happening, but on different nights each time. And then, so on the 14th, we're going to head off in the camper van and we'll try to make some little videos of what we're doing to post on the YouTube for you and the other guys to watch so you get to see some of the things. So Dad and I might um, switch on the camera, tell you what we've been doing and then show you some of the photos from where we've been. So, so we'll, I'll try, we'll try and do that, because I know that you don't want to read my blog, so a video blog works better, doesn't it? So how does that sound? It's quite a lot of things that we're doing together um, leading up to that time, and then we'll be having regular FaceTimes, won't we, in the eve on Sunday evenings, probably. And I say probably because sometimes we don't have a good, uh, good enough signal and we might have to make it on another day. But that's what's happening in the next few weeks. So next week, what's happening? Let's, let's go back to next week, what's happening next week. Next week, um, we're going to be busy all during the week and then you'll come to tea on the Saturday evening and you'll have Sunday free. Oh no, the Sunday, if, we, if that works out, we're going to go to the zoo. 
So that's next weekend. So save the dates, okay? <laughs> and I think your sister is looking forward to it as well. Roman's too little really to really understand what's going on. He just likes to be with mum and, and his dad, doesn't he, at the moment? So that's because he's one year, one year old. So it's going to be interesting as he grows up, isn't it? Seeing him and keeping up with him. So, okay, so I better check and see what's happening with our pots. Now cooking. So now we're going to go and check on our cooking, make sure it's simmering nicely and not doing anything crazy over there. <coughs> okay, so the vegetables are simmering nicely and so is the meat. It's coming along nicely there. So I need to check the veggies, don't I Matthew? See how they're going. This setting you down, GoPro. Um, that is all cooked, Matthew. So we have to process that. So we want to a little bit of video of you practicing. All right, so I'll, I'll uh, sing a little bit of the entry chorus, which starts off the show. And here we go. Pour upon the pirate cherry, fill, oh, fill the pirate glass. And to make us more than merry, let the pirate bumper pass. And then the next bit, I come in. Here's good luck to Frederick's ventures, Frederick's out of his indentures. Pour upon the pirate cherry, fill, oh, fill the pirate glass. And to make us more than merry, let the pirate bumper pass. Say again. So that's the opening chorus to the Pirates of Penzance. So I think we've got that level. Now, we need to drain the veggies and mash them. where we're doing it down here. <laughs> so here we are. Okay. That should be enough, Matthew, because they've cooked really nice, lovely and soft.
what I might do. Put the camera down this end. And then, as well as me seeing what I'm doing, Matthew, we can see you in the background. I think you need to be louder than that. What can you, how, how loud can you get? <coughs> That's pretty loud. Matthew's calling, Dad. capture these pirates alone. It is most distressing to us to be the agents whereby our erring fellow creatures <coughs> it is most distressing to us to be the agents whereby our erring fellow creatures are deprived of that liberty so dear to all. <coughs> but we should have thought of that before we joined the force. <coughs> it's too late now. <laughs> it's too late now. It's too late now. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, uh, we're going to... See rescue? Um, hoik Matthew up slightly. Okay. okay. Yeah! Hoik him up. Hoik him up. Yeah. Bring in the apparatus. Bring in the braces and straps. Okay. Bring in the machine and crank, crank, crown. Okay, now get this, get this mighty hand up. Get this mighty hand up. Here we go. Now. Here we go. One, two, three, and go. And there we are. And that hand needs to we come up. We can lift you, Matthew. Come up. Bring that hand up. Okay. Oh, yes, get that out. We don't want to break that. <coughs> and he's just about going down again now. That's right. Well, this is a fairly hopeless situation, but let us go now. Well, we haven't got him strapped yet. That's right. One, One two, two, three, three and up. up. And then bring out the hand. And bring yeah. out the strap. <coughs> bring out the strap. <coughs> and Built our you. course is clear. We must do our best to capture these pirates alone. We're capturing the Matthew. Oh. It is most distressing to us. Okay, to Matthew. To be the agents whereby our erring fellow creatures are deprived of that liberty so dear to all. So just before we serve up, but we should have thought this it's before. So you, when you come along to the GNS, Matthew, you'll recognise some of the music and the, <laughs> and the sounds, won't you? You'll, be, you'll probably be talking along with them. When a felon's not engaged and in we'll his be saying, employment, shh, shh, Matthew, won't or we? maturing we'll his felonious shh. little plans, his capacity for innocent enjoyment yeah, yeah, is just yeah, as great as any yeah, honest yeah. man's. Our feelings we with difficulty smother, or oh, and constabulary duties to be done. 
Ah, take one consideration with another. A policeman's lot is not an happy one. Ah, when constabulary duties to be done, to be done, a policeman's lot is not an happy one. Happy. Have to leave Stephen to do that bit, Matthew, because it's very deep. Okay, very deep. I'm just going to switch. So these are the meals. You can see that the biggest one is Matthew's. That's in the middle, and then Stephen's is the second biggest, and then mine is the third biggest. And then we'll also Matthew show your meal when it's been pureed. Okay. So, but we won't show us eating. That's having fun with the ginger beer bottle. What I'm doing is getting very giddy. Okay, so this is breath. Matthew's meal already, and that's what we use to process it. Wow. So it's only a little your, thing, but it does a very good your job. Your meal is high cuisine here, Matthew. Really are. So very there's there's food. the table. For the young lad. Ginger beers for mum and dad, and Matthew has his drink later. And that's what the meal looks like. And that's what it looks like pureed. And Matthew doesn't care because you just love food, don't you, Matt? How much do you love food? Quite a lot. <laughs> I would say nine and a half out of ten. Always got to leave. Or is it ten out of ten, Matthew? I'd say eleven out of ten. Yep. I'd even go to a little bit like eleven point one out of ten. I'm wasting a bit of time here, Matthew, because I think it's going to be very hot. But, uh, I'm wasting no time. Okay, so I'm going to switch off now. Okay, so it's dishes time. I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea. You've had, what have you had today, Matthew? You've had a big bowl of food, and then you had um, some leftover mash. Fairly big bowl of that. And in several small lots. And then you drank 300 mils of mocha. Now you're going to help Dad with the dishes. Mm. There we go. Mm. So we'll need to bear that in mind when we head out. Get the operator. Where is the operator? Come in, please, operator. 
monsieur, I mean, you are operator tonight. Is that correct? I think this is the man. Operate Henrietta. Will you come now, my friend? Are you ready? Is your hand ready? Let's go. Get the man ready. Here we go now. You stayed in your beautiful, warm, cuddly top all night, Matthew. Yes. I think I'd like it. Here we go now. You might like to turn the sound down a bit. Today. Yes. Let's turn the sound down. Do that. Shall I do it? You don't seem able to do it. There we are. Done. Here we are now. Bring the man round. Bring the man round. You've got to concentrate, haven't we, Matthew? Not too much. You can you can watch the sport. Sport. But <laughs> you can watch it. But I think you also need to concentrate on. Here we go now. Doing this. Get the hand ready. Hand ready now. Bring the hand round. Here we go now. Hand is up. Getting oh, it's ready. looking very good. It's going to be a good one today. I think this is going to be on the news. Bring the hand up now, sir. <coughs> Bring the hand up. 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 Whoa! The, the chair had a mind of its own. Does your chair sometimes go by itself, Matthew? There we are. Hand up. Hand up. 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 We need to have a, what is called assist. Mm. We have assist. Here we go. And now the hand is in position. Um. And... Wait! Contact is done. Mm. Wow, the legend rides again. Whoa, Maddie, that was quite a... That was quite an effort. Quite a if battle. If you go down eh? into the annals mm. of uh, the whole mm. nature of this sport, it's called riding the Henrietta. <laughs> well and done, Maddie. The legend now is resting because, mm. as you can imagine, it's been mm. a horrendous amount of strain and struggle. There's no man. We want to the nice want... weather over the past week. You can see a large band of. Clouds. I want to watch the weather now, Matthew. Mm. But here we are now, ready to leave. Okay. Here we go. You don't have your arm in yet. Matthew. Hand in, arm in. The legend is leaving. Attention, all crew. Attention, all crew. Matthew Carlyle is now leaving. He's heading out to the launching pad where he will meet the taxi. Here he goes now. He's all in and he's out and he's down the ramp. It's looking like a very good exit. Oh, the legend is in good mood tonight. So here we go. And down through the party lights. Here he goes. Goodbye, Matt. See you around the other side. Goodbye. 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 There we are. Lights are on. And he's in position. And any moment now, the taxi will arrive. The taxi will arrive. Here is Taxi Machina. Oh, yes. Here is Taxi. And on goes the man. Here is the legend. On he goes. Oh, what a performance this man is. One of the great champs. And here is Tin. Come to help your friend Tin. Very reliable. A very good taxi driver. We like him very much. How are you, Tin? Are you good tonight? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Have you been busy today? Oh, do you have busy yet? Yes, weekend is everyone's out and about. Okay, Matthew, in you go. And the taxi's going, and Matthew's finished his visit, and he's on his way home now to Villa 3. So come in, Villa 3. Come in, Villa 3. Mac Matthew is on his way now, leaving Merton Street, excellent visit, uh, the legend, uh, outstanding work with the dishwasher, and now he's returning home where he will um, have a lovely night's sleep and uh, have good memories of a job well done tonight. And there goes the legend now, on his way.
Max is just heading out, heading out, and on its way to Max. He's home to the birthday.